Breaking tonight, a major controversy erupting moments ago on the campaign trail as a top Democratic senator makes comments that could potentially cost her the seat, suggesting that voters in the South are both racist and sexist. Welcome to The Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. Mary Landrieu is a three-term Democratic senator from Louisiana, locked in a three-way battle with Congressman Bill Cassidy and Tea Party challenger Rob Manus. The race is tight. Less than four points separate Landrieu and Cassidy. And today, Meet the Press anchor Chuck Todd questioned Landrieu about why President Obama has struggled politically in the South. Here is her answer. To be very, very honest with you, in the South has not always been the friendliest place for African Americans. It's been a difficult time for the president to present himself in a very positive light as a leader. It's not always been a, a good place for women to be able to present ourselves. It's more of a conservative place. So we've had to work a little bit harder on that. But you know, but the people trust me, I believe, really they do, to trust me to do the right thing for the state. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal immediately slammed those comments, calling them remarkably divisive, saying, quote, implied in her comments is the clear suggestion that President Obama and his policies are unpopular in Louisiana because of his ethnicity. That is a major insult by Senator Landrieu to the people of Louisiana, and I flatly reject it. Of course, the governor is a Republican. This has the potential to not only impact Senator Landrieu, but it may spill into other races. We have team coverage on the breaking news with Fox News digital politics editor Chris Dyerwalt and Sirius radio talk show host David Webb. But we begin tonight with Congressman Bill Cassidy, Landrew's Republican challenger, who joins us now by phone. Sir, thank you very much for being here. Your reaction to her comments. Stand by. We're trying to get him. Hold on. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? I've got you, sir. Your reaction to Senator Landrieu's comments? Yeah. People in Louisiana care deeply about our country. They are being bombarded by his regulations. They don't understand Obamacare. Can't imagine why he won't approve Keystone XL pipeline. When under our Constitution, we work through the political process to change directions, we're called racist. We're doing exactly what we're supposed to do go to the polls and vote out the senator that supports him 97% of the time, and we're racist. I think the people in Louisiana have been pretty long-suffering. Uh, we're the ones suffering under Obamacare. Uh, so I disagree with the senator. I wish she'd focus more on policy instead of insulting us. She suggests that they are also sexist, saying this hasn't always been a good place for women to present ourselves. It's more of a conservative place, so we've had to work on that. This is a woman who's been elected to the U.S. Senate by Louisianans for three times in a row. Your thoughts on that piece of her comments? She said elective office statewide or local since she was age 23. Our governor prior to Governor Jindal was a woman. Now, again, someone who is upset because people in Louisiana are rejecting her support for the president, i.e. rejecting the fact that he won't approve Keystone, he forces Obamacare down our throat, he's trying to kill our jobs with regulations, and we're called racist. We're going through the political process to make the change our Constitution kind of prescribes how you do it, and we're called racist. Um, Megan, we're doing what we should be doing. Do you, uh, she's do, doing what she shouldn't be. Do you think this has, been a, this has been a tight race, and she has been credited by many for running a good race that's been in, in large part error-free, at least her supporters say that. Do you believe this is a desperation play to inject racism and sexism into this race a few days before the election? Senator Landrieu now represents Washington, D.C. That's probably what the she goes to a cocktail party believe. That, my gosh, the only reason folks in Louisiana wouldn't support the president is because they're racist. Now, I would say we reject the president because his policies have been bad for our state and bad for the country. If she actually lived here, understood what people in Louisiana thought, she would understand that. But instead, she says what people in D.C. say. I say that people in